So I thought it'd be great to get you on here today just to educate people a little bit more about who you are, what your role is, um, what you, how you guys run your college team, et cetera. So I guess we'll get started. How did you get into college soccer and um, why did you decide High Point was the right place for you? Yeah, so um, I played college soccer here in the United States, actually in North Carolina, just uh, two hours from here. And um, I was recruited as a young athlete, like many people that are trying to do that as well, watching this and um, played four years of uh, actually Division three college soccer. Which nice. Is a very good level as well. Yeah, yep. it's good. Um, and then uh, I had another semester after college to graduate. So I, uh, I joined the program, uh, my alma mater. And I just fell in love with it. Um, just really, really loved the grind, loved the, the thought of, uh, you know, just doing this for a living. This is, this is my suit and tie, as you can see. Like, yeah. I work another day. It's great. Um, and do something that I love, which in, yeah. in this country is, is very difficult to, to find. So, um, you know, that was my, my first step. And then I climbed the ladder. I was a Division II assistant. Um, at two different universities in in the state of North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, became an associate head coach um, at the University of North Carolina at Pembroke, the Division II school. Right. Then uh, became a head coach at Mount Olive and then uh, just decided right before COVID uh, to make the move to High Point, um, which is a, a great move for, for my family. Obviously a great school and great yep. opportunity for success. The reason I put my finger up is because that's when I met Sean when he was at Mount Olive and he signed two of my players and just the way the recruiting process was with you was so easy. Um, yeah. You know, and you really, you really looked after those kids over there. And I know you were hard on your sleeve, which is big for me because um, at the end of the day, parents trust me to place their athletes in right environments. And, you know, when you work with a coach that has got the same values as you, it's so easy um, to, to get them over there and you know that they're going to be looked after. So I guess you arrived at High Point University. Now, there's a lot of people that have never been to High Point University. Can you share some light a little bit um, on what it's like over there? Yeah, sure. It's um, it's a really unique and impressive environment. Um facilities to education to athletics it's uh top of the line uh, my president you know a lot of schools most schools say we're going to do everything for our athletes for our students but it's a really hard thing to back up and um, high point does an extraordinary job of of backing up that promise to our students and student athletes of um high expectations but with high resources yeah um which not everybody can have and um it's, uh, you know, we're building a $180 million uh, basketball arena, hotel and convention center currently right next to our field. Uh, <laughs> we're putting in, uh, yeah, it's so unreal. We're putting in a, a new scoreboard uh, for our facility right now, which is yeah. supposedly four times the size of what we currently had, which I, I already thought was massive enough. And um, they're replacing the track around our facility and making it all purple, which is our colors. Yeah. Uh, really just stand out and be be one of the best and that's what we are we're a mid-major school trying to be uh for people that know the acc yeah. uh north carolina duke you know uh nc state we're trying to be one of those schools and and we're not far away we had uh i think i believe out of the 16 sports we had 14 win championships this spring and we had five ncaa appearances so you know, you can call us a mid-major because of our size, but we're obviously doing great things and um, doing it in a, in a pretty impressive way for sure. And um, I enjoy every moment of it, just walking around and seeing what we're trying to do. It's, it's pretty impressive. I guess it's, it's about quality, not quantity, you know, just because you've, you haven't got, you know, 30,000 students doesn't mean that you're not good. Um, I know a lot of strong Division One programs and even Division Two and Division Three programs that are yeah. incredible incredible yeah. and um i think what you guys have got there is, is something very very special which is great sure. and hopefully one day we can get you someone um that can be part of that championship winning journey with you guys yeah. now yeah. you get bombarded with emails every day yeah. how many emails would you get a day man i don't know and now it's now that, that we've opened up and we're recruiting again it's it's three times as many i uh, hundreds of emails a day and it's it's mm. difficult to scan through them for sure and obviously you've got your contacts like, you know, 
people that you talk to, for example, were very grateful to have that connection with you, but you've got connections with other people. Let's say um, a student athlete really wants to come to High Point University. What will stand out for you when you see the subject or the email come into your inbox? Yeah, it's, that's a really good question because um, we talk about it in this country all the time and not even in other countries, but how do you separate yourself from everybody else? Exactly. And that's the, that's the big challenge. So, um, you know, when it, when it comes to an email, subject lines are really important. Um, seeing where you, where you are from, um, where you play currently, what level, you know, for us, it's hopefully a, a, a really high level that that will attract us right away. So the key in a subject line is the most important thing that you can put in that line that I can read um, that will will pull me off the page is so important because I, I we just don't have time to go through hundreds of videos a day. So yeah. we go off the level a lot here at High Point, and um, so that's really important. And we know the level. We know the the level in New Zealand. We know the levels in these countries. So we're we're very aware of um, what will jump off the page for us. So it's, it's not very foreign. If, if a guy from New Zealand were to, to email us and put specifics about his level, we would, we would know. Um, and then, you know, and in, inside that email, it's really specific information, how the academics look, you know, obviously you're a big part of the email process, yeah. uh, but um, you know, depending on what the test scores look like in terms yeah. of if we're going to do that moving forward or not, um, in this country. And then video, we don't need 90 minutes of video right away. We need short clips, um, a little teaser to tell us, are you good enough or not? And then we would reach out to you specifically to get more film if, if we like the guy, but yeah, the, the more concise that subject line is, um, with the, the most amount of information, that's, that's the key. Um, when you recruit players, every college has got a sort of different playing style. What kind of playing styles do you guys like to have? Yeah, so we're we're pretty unique. Um, you know, the Division One game can be quite direct and um, can be a little bit forced. It's a very physical, fast game, um, which, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. But we we have athletes in this country, so um, college soccer tends to use those athletes to their advantage, and, and that's great. But we uh, we're definitely a, a possession style build up program. Um, we don't like to play direct. We like to build through the lines. We like to build through pressure. Uh, we like to dictate the the game to the opponent. Um, you know, we were, we were in the NCAA tournament this year against um, a powerhouse Georgetown team. We won the national title in 2019, and um, we played. We, we did not sit in. We did not go along and just kind of hang on for dear life. We we played, and it was a great game because Georgetown played as well, and it was fun to be a part of because it's, it's rare in college soccer that you get two teams that play all the time. And, and yeah. that's what it was for us. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're extremely uh, possession oriented. We want to play through it. Um, and then defensively, we have a lot of thought um, and ideas defensively, how we want to press. Um, mm -hmm. We press all the time, even, you know, high block, middle block and low block is, is the typical terms, but we, we can press in the low block and press in the middle block and press in the high. So um, we're pretty dynamic and unique in those ways. And the great thing about high point is there's a reason for everything we do. We don't just do it to do it. Um, there's a reason and, and we can justify that with our players. And, and that's how we get total buy-in. That's incredible. An athlete arrives on campus. What do they get access to like gym facilities, physios, that sort of stuff? What do, what would an athlete get access to with you guys? Man, it's uh the, the list is long. I don't want that interview to be that long, but um, you know, obviously, physio it's it's twenty four seven for us. Um, the the recovery process is pretty incredible, from from cold tubs to hot tubs to treadmills in the, in yep. the water with heart rate monitors. Um, it's pretty unique. Um, you know, top class facilities. Obviously, like I said before, the the hotel sitting over top of our facility. The the, the game day operations is is just remarkable at our school and. Um, the time and commitment that the support staff puts into the university is, is just really, really impressive. Um, but the campus itself it provides so much. We've got a five-star steakhouse on campus for students. No way. <laughs> yeah, we do. But it, uh, it's pretty unique. Like they train the students to, uh, to be business professionals. So you have to leave yep. your cell phone at the, at the door. Um, you have to place reservations. You have to show up, I think, 30 minutes ahead of time. 
um, they put you with other people that you don't know. So it forces conversation. Um, they, if you're 21 and older um, in this country, I, I believe they allow you to pair wine with steak and they teach you how to, how to do that. So it's not just a, a gourmet dinner for students. It's a learning opportunity. And that's what the campus does. I mean, there's a, one of the things that's so remarkable is in the business uh, center in our, in our facility, there's an airplane and it's actual seats in there where you can go, <laughs> go study and pre prepare to be on an airplane. Because in an airplane. <laughs> yes, it's incredible. Uh, our internships are, are remarkable. Um, everyone's familiar with ABC, the news outlet, I believe. C yeah. uh, CBS, the news outlet. NBC, you know, those are worldwide news outlet, outlets. ESPN is an internship program. Um, NBC Sports, which is how we watch all of our soccer here. Um, those are all internship programs for us. And um, so it's pretty remarkable on campus. And then we have some of the top... Um, uh, business professionals, politicians um, that come on campus and speak to our students. Um, you know, some people that, you know, Colin Powell, which people won't know, and Condoleezza Rice, which are American politicians that are really powerful people in this country, they come and speak. And then um, people from Apple, um, from Netflix wow. to the Dallas Mavericks, which is the yep. professional basketball team, they're all ambassadors to the university. And they come and speak, you know, once, twice a year. So you get access to things that um, I didn't even think was possible. And I'm, I'm an American citizen and um, I'm walking around on campus and I, I've been told Will Ferrell, the comedian, will walk by at some point. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. He He's good. Uh, you He's just good. don't know uh, who's, who you'll see on a daily basis. Um, the modern day Superman, um, he, yep. his daughter goes to campus. Uh, wow. Goes to the high point so yeah it's you just don't know now let's say a student athlete comes there now obviously across all sports on the male side <laughs> full yeah. scholarships are quite hard to come by yeah, um, yeah. due to title nine now let's say um an athlete hypothetically is on a full scholarship what do they get access to you mentioned the recovery side of things what what kind of gear do they get given yeah, I mean the gear is pretty pretty insane. We've we've got uh, we're one of uh, about fifteen schools in the country that have a direct connection to Adidas. Um, so we nice. most people go through a third party in this country, yeah. so like a seller. Um, we go direct to consumer, so um, we deal with Adidas directly. So we purchase about uh, it's about forty thousand dollars a year in, in Adidas gear and equipment yeah. and those. So you get everything from um, five tops. You get two training tops, um, a sleeveless training top, a rain top, and just a cold top. You get uh, firm ground boots. We're, we're a turf uh, turf facility, so yep. firm ground boots. And then you also get soft ground boots. So when we a lot of our opponents are grass. Right, um, of course. So you get that, yeah. Yep. You get flats, which are running shoes, um, uh, sandals, I mean, you name it, you get it. Um, goalkeepers get gloves. You know, all, obviously the jerseys are top of the line. We design new jerseys every year for our guys. Um, yeah. And if and if they need anything else, if it if it goes south and something breaks or anything, we just call Adidas and we get it right back. So it's yeah. it's pretty impressive. Um, we uh, again, the school's a mid major school, but we're trying to be ACC level, where our conference is pressed up against the ACC. So we want to be like them. Uh, we want to be one of them. And in order to do that, you got to take care of your athletes. And uh, High Point just does an incredible job of, of giving you the, the resources to do that. And um, happy players uh, usually perform. So we try to take care of our players and make sure they're happy. My last question, because I know you have to go to the airport soon. Yeah. Um, my last question for you is how important – for someone that is two to three years away from graduating high school, how important is strength and speed? Mm, yeah, it's, uh, it's really important. Um, especially if you're coming from another country, because um, we don't claim to be the best soccer players in the world. We've, we've seen our national team, you know, it's uh, we're up and coming, but we're, we're still growing and uh, we don't pretend to be the best footballers ever. But um, when it comes to speed and athleticism and strength, we, you got to argue we're one of the best for it. Um, and so that's, that's so important. You know, uh, the lifting program in this country is, is the key. I mean, we have some, some players from all over the world that have played at unbelievably high levels, but they struggle physically 
um, because, you know, the guys are just fit, they're strong here. And, um, and then speed. And, and I would add to that, Emra, is endurance. The yep. ability to last physically for 90 minutes in this game is really hard. Um, and not because the game is good, but it's just physical. So, yeah, I think three years out, you got to start preparing for that stuff that um, I, I think a lot of guys come over and they, they don't respect the game. You know, they, they think the game's not great. And that's fine. We're still an up and coming country with soccer. Um, but what they underestimate is the, phys- the physicality of it, the speed of it, um, the, the endurance part of it. People underestimate that. And that's where yeah. they really struggle. Also, I mean, as you mentioned, it is a growing sport. However, the MLS, how good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Have you had any, uh, had any guys move on? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We've had um, uh, in the last roughly nine years, we've had 18 guys go uh, to the next level. And, yeah. um, you know, the levels expanded. Um, we've got technically four tiers of pro soccer here now. We've got MLS, uh, USL Championship, USL 1, and USL 2, all considered pro levels now. So um, we've got guys that, uh, you know, most recently um, our goalkeeper was drafted by the New England Revolution. Wow. 2019, yeah. yeah. So what how it works in this country is you get drafted, but you n- might not necessarily play MLS. We've got uh, basically like a sister club or an affiliate so they would get drafted by the, the club and then work their way up through the affiliates. But yeah. um, he's playing in the top level of USL. Um, we've got a center back playing at a really high level too. And um, yeah, so we've got, and we've got guys here. Um, they've taken their COVID uh, kind of gap year. Yeah. You know, it was a free season this spring. They're coming back for hopefully a good fall and the likelihood that they get picked up in uh, February or March. So yeah, we do. We're, we're up and coming with that stuff, but we've got guys that have played in the MLS that are currently doing it and um, pretty excited to continue that process. That's amazing. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. I'd love to come one day and visit you guys and check out your yeah. facilities, man. I need to. I need to. <laughs> and likewise, man, we want to have you here in New Zealand. So as soon as yeah. the board is open, we're going to run. All the way to, uh, to Fiji. And I never got <laughs> to New Zealand. I mean, I went pretty far. Yeah, no, you, that's a three-hour flight away. Fiji. Yeah, no, yeah. it's uh, a vaca- a weekend vacation is what I understand for a New Zealander. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we wish we wish right now everything is so locked down at the moment. There's only a few places you can go to, which is like the borders are open, but it's yeah. so hard right now. But as soon as the borders open in New Zealand, we'll run a showcase here for you, mate. Yeah, love it. I'll, I'll fly in for sure. We have to schedule in a rugby game as well. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I've never actually – I've seen uh, the sevens yep. here in the U.S., but I've never actually seen one live. Nice. My mate's actually – he's actually a Kiwi. He's the um, head women's uh, sevens coach, and uh, he's been saying that he wants to try and get some Kiwis over there as well. So might yeah. do a showcase over there in the States too. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's brilliant. Awesome, man. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time, coach. Really appreciate it. Um, For people that are watching this, go check out High Point University Men's Soccer on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. They post heaps of content there. You can see what kind of facilities they have. And um, yeah, appreciate your time. Absolutely. My pleasure. And uh, we'll talk soon, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Take care.